So I'm gonna be making some ginger scallion sauce and I'm gonna take you guys along because this is one of my favorite condiments and you'll find it in a lot of like Chinese or Cantonese restaurants for like either like barbecue pork or like duck and stuff like that but for me it's perfect with rice or noodles or basically anything that you want to make like extra delicious. So I also actually had it with my ginger scallion noodles that I will link down below. Um, so basically the sauce just kind of like levels up every type of dish and it's really so good like I'm not over it So we're gonna start off of course with some scallions So this is how I store my scallions like I basically want to show you guys I'm gonna wrap it with plastic in a jar with a bit of water and I place it in the fridge and it keeps it fresh and sometimes my scallions even grow more because of the water obviously so on the left here, I have like scallions and on the right, I have like spring onion, which are like thinner, but I'm going to use a mix of both for this recipe. It doesn't really matter what you have. Um, so I took out like the dead parts here, like the dead soggy ends. And I just took that out and of course the dirt also. And after like peeling those, we're going to go ahead and just like roughly chop it. So we're going to roughly chop it because we're going to place it in a food processor. But if you check out my blog post for this, um, I do like chop it up by hand. So it's really up to you like what process or what method you want to do. And then for the ginger, I'm going to go and peel it. So I use like a small um, spoon or like teaspoon here. You can use a peeler, but I find that it's so hard to work with a peeler considering ginger has like random like lumps and like small spaces that it's hard to get to. Plus you might injure yourself, like I've peeled my thumb before, so I'm a bit traumatized with peelers. So I chopped them up into small cubes, it's really like just roughly chopped because we're going to process it again. And basically we're just going to chuck that in the food processor and let it do its thing. So my food processor was tiny, so I had to really squeeze it in. And I just processed it, and it's up to you how processed you want it. Like I wanted mine to still have like large chunks, but if you want it really fine, you just like keep processing it until you reach your desired um, fineness. And we're gonna transfer it onto a heatproof bowl, and then in a pot we're gonna go and heat up some neutral oil. So neutral oil is essential. Like don't use coconut, don't use like olive oil because it's gonna be overpowering. And we're gonna leave that to a boil over high heat. And we're gonna go back to our ginger scallion and season it with a bit of salt. So you wanna like generously season this but not too much. You can always add salt later on. And some Chinese fine spice if you want extra fragrance. And then we're just gonna go ahead and mix this up. And then basically just like really um, mix it together because you want like all the parts to get all the seasoning. And then we're gonna go ahead and test out the heat of the oil. So once it sizzles, like you know it's good. And then we're gonna turn off the heat and basically pour it in and give it a sizzle. So basically, it's just gonna cook down and all the flavors are gonna come out. You're gonna see how it smells so good. And just mix that up. And then you can just go ahead and taste it. And if you feel like it still needs a bit of seasoning, go ahead and add like a bit of salt or also add in some Thai spice if you like. And then we're going to transfer it into jars and leave it to cool completely before you seal it. So this is going to last pretty long in the fridge, but it really depends like how fast you eat it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and you'll find this recipe linked down below. I'll see you guys in my next video.